Hey there, everyone. You know, many people grow up believing that if they don't have a university degree, they're destined to fail. Society really pushes this idea that a degree is the golden ticket to success. And let's be honest, in a lot of places, finding a job without at least a bachelor's degree can feel like an uphill battle. But here's the thing. Not having a degree doesn't define you as a failure. Guess what? I made a conscious choice not to go to university. Yes, you heard that right. I chose a different path. One that didn't involve the traditional nine-to-five grind. So today, I want to take a moment to share a bit about my career journey with you. If it's God's will, I'll dive deeper into specific parts of my life in future videos. And hey, if you want me to keep going, just let me know in the comments, okay? Throughout my life, I've been a freelancer. Can you believe it? Except for a brief two-month stint where I helped someone with their business, I've never had a traditional job. And let me tell you, this path hasn't been easy. I started this journey at a time when working from home was almost unheard of in my area. And honestly, even in the whole country. It felt like I was clearing a dense forest to carve out a new road, while my peers were zipping along well-paved paths that had been around for ages. But you know what? After years of hard work and perseverance, I'm so grateful that my efforts have paid off. I don't usually like to talk about myself, but I felt it was important to share my story. Maybe it'll help someone out there who's feeling a bit hopeless or lost. After months of struggle, where I was almost forced back to school by the police, can you imagine? I finally kicked off my freelance writing career. I started writing for a newsletter based in Belgium called African News Bulletin. I would write news articles and send them by post. It was both exciting and a little nerve-wracking. Living and working from my rural area came with its own set of challenges. People around me often thought I was spoiled, and even when I was working hard, they assumed I was just resting or wasting time. I wrote my articles by hand and mailed them, which actually caught the attention of the editors. They wrote back to me, complimenting my handwriting in an age where typing was the norm. Honestly, my handwriting wasn't anything special. I just took my time to write legibly, trying to mimic the neatness of a typewriter. Speaking of typewriters, I eventually borrowed a manual one with a small font size. That borrowing came with its own challenges, but I'll save that story for another time. Later on, I managed to buy a second-hand electric typewriter and return the manual one. But using it wasn't without its hiccups, especially since we didn't have electricity or solar power at the time. After a while, I transitioned from the postal service to using email, which was no small feat. I had to travel about 27 to 30 kilometers to the nearest cyber cafe in Homa Bay Town. Trust me, I'll share more about those challenges in future videos. In 2001, I took a big leap forward by purchasing an extremely old computer, along with a solar panel, a battery, and an inverter. The computer was a power hog, so I could only use it for short bursts, even during the day. I also got a Sony Ericsson T39, which I connected to the computer for internet access. The GPRS connection was painfully slow. Downloading even a 5 megabytes file felt like waiting for eternity. But at least I could send and receive emails, which was a huge step for me. Receiving payments? Oh boy, that was another challenge. I had to gather several payments and then travel all the way to Nairobi to collect a check, which I would then take to my bank. This meant traveling overnight, visiting the local office in the morning to get my check and then making the long journey back home in the evening. I stayed with African News Bulletin from 1993 until it wound up in 2003. Those ten years were filled with learning, growth, and resilience. I can't wait to share the next phase of my career journey with you in the upcoming episode. So please stay tuned, and thank you for being a part of my story. 
Please note that I am the speaker's digital twin, created using artificial intelligence.